What's going on everybody? Derek Jackson here, author of A Cheating Man's Heart, available November 25th. I got a chance to go through you guys' comments and read through all your questions. You had some great ones, so I'm excited to get to them. I picked out the top five. I'm gonna answer them here on the video. And then my personal favorite will get the free book. So let's see what we got. Shirley Bubbles says, Yay, I'm so excited for you and cannot wait to read your book. Thank you, Shirley. What were the challenges, research, literary, psychological, and or logistical, in bringing it to life? And do you think the message you conveyed will be understood? I will be sharing. That's what I'm talking about. Um, the biggest challenge was walking in the shoes of the main character, Sean Fletcher. And anything I write, you know, I want to come from an honest place. And I think that's why you and a lot of others have followed me thus far. But it's kind of hard to do that without investing yourself emotionally. Your second, I think the second part to your question was, do I think my message will be understood? That remains to be seen. I have no idea until the book comes out on the 25th, and I'll be able to get the feedback from you guys. The second question, it comes from, or I guess number four, but whatever. It comes from Tiffany Williams Womack, and she says, most men that I know that cheat have some kind of inner issue, whether it be no father, or cheating on a woman, or cheated on by a woman they love. At what point does a cheating man deal with his inner issues in order to heal and love someone who could really love and protect his heart? A lot of men wait until they find a reason that's worth it, or i.e. a good woman, to change their ways. And a lot of times, it's too late by that, by that point. Because you don't turn into a cheating man. You don't get a, develop a cheating man's heart overnight. That's a process. So to undo that process is going to take some time, right? Time that a good woman usually isn't willing to wait. All right, so the next question comes from Chanel. I keeps it real all day, Walker. She asked, even though you're very handsome, thank you, Chanel, would you date a woman who is not acceptable on a cover or let's say Vogue magazine, basically? Could you fall madly in love with a regular lady? Remember, she meets all requirements. She's just not a model. Hmm. Well, I already have fallen in love with a regular lady, so yes. All right, so let's move on to the next question. It comes from Malia Sonnenberg. How does a man step out on a woman who gives him everything, then begs for her to be by his side after she's left? Okay, so without giving away the book, I try to answer best I can. Say you have this guy, and he wears fake earrings all the time, so the store clerk that sells him these earrings constantly tells him it's the real deal. These are real diamonds, but he knows it's Cuban zirconia. So time after time, he goes and gets these Cuban zirconia earrings, and then finally, the store clerk gives him diamond earrings. Chances are, he's gonna treat it just like the Cuban zirconia. Wear it for a few weeks, months, or whatever, and throw it away. That's what happens with guys. If you get somebody that doesn't know a diamond when they see one, they're gonna treat it like a Cuban zirconia. And then, when it's too late, they're gonna want the diamond back. All right, and the last question we have comes from Anisha Palmer. She asks, if you have so much insight on women in relationships, why are you single if you're single? I guess it's kind of like asking, if I know so much about hair care products, why do I choose to have short hair? Or it's like asking a, a defense attorney, you know so much about crime, so why are you free? My point is, the mentality that the single life is such a bad thing is so toxic because then you stop making your goal about a healthy relationship and doing what you need to do to be in a healthy relationship and more about just having the relationship title. I want you to get out of that thinking that, you know, if, if your relationship savvy or you're, I don't know, successful or good looking or whatever that you consider to be esteemed, that you're supposed to be in a relationship and anything else is less than. All right, and my favorite question comes from Jen Jackson. No relation, but uh, she has. Mr. Jackson, I've noticed that you stated in your most recent interview that you wanted the reader to walk away with the understanding that having flaws won't keep a heart from breaking. Since the book is entitled, The Cheating Man's Heart, are you trying to bring awareness not only to the outsiders, but also to the cheating man himself to come to the self-realization of the true moral of the story? I like that question because one, it's dead on, accurate. Um, I do want readers, particularly the female readers, to walk away with a, a new conversation to have with their cheating man rather than chalking it up as, you know, you don't deserve me, you don't know my worth. Well, that's good on the surface, 
I think it does little to really get to the root of the issue. And when you don't get to the root of the issue, you don't really process that experience. You don't process that pain. So you just walk off trying to just leave it in the past instead of using that so that you can move forward. Whether you wanted to give a second chance or whether you wanted to walk away for good. So Jen Jackson, make sure that you inbox me your mailing address so I can get you your book. As for the rest of you guys, thank you for participating. Got some great questions, gave me a lot to think about. Um, I should be in your city for my seminars and my tour come next year. Um, January or February, I'll be looking to tour for the book, so look out for that. And until then, make sure you support the book November 25th. I thank everyone that's been supporting, especially the ones that's been, that's been down since January and everybody since who have supported me and pursuing my dreams. And um, this is really a big deal for me and I just appreciate each and every one of you. I can't thank you enough. Please go tell a friend so that they can get their copy of A Cheating Man's Heart as well. Have a good one. God bless.